Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1405. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got to see how to use sum ifs to calculate monthly revenue from daily sales and then monthly add costs from monthly amounts. Now, here's our two tables. This one has the sales. Each transaction is for a particular day, so we need to add all of the sales and get a total over here for each one of the months. And then we need to do something similar, but from this table, which lists the ad costs for each particular product for the month. So in essence, there's going to be three monthly amounts that we need to add up over here. In both cases, we can use some ifs. Now, if we're only given month end here, well, that will work as our condition or criteria for some ifs to add the cost. But what are we going to do for revenue? Well, we're given the month end. All we need to do is somehow generate inside our formula the beginning of each month, and that will give us our upper and lower limit. Now, I'm going to start this without doing some ifs. I'm just going to look at the end of the month function. Now, end of the month takes a particular start date. And notice it's already the end of the month, comma. Now, for months, we can put a 1 to go forward and get the end of next month, 0 for the current month, which would give us the same day, and minus 1 to go back to the last day of the previous month. So I'm going to use minus 1, close parentheses, Control Enter. Oh, and that has currency to see it as a date, Control-1. Go over to number, date, and enter. And that gives us, of course, the end of last month. So what do we do? F2. We add 1. Control-Enter. And there is the beginning of the month. Now we're going to use this date and this date. And we need to say, hey, all of the records over here, I need you to look through the date column pick out each sale when it's greater than or equal to the lower date and less than or equal to the upper date. I'm going to hit F2. With our cursor after the equal sign, I'm going to put sum ifs. Now the sum range. Now I'm using Excel tables here, so I've already converted this to an Excel table, which makes it really convenient to highlight a whole column. I'm going to click Near the top of the field name, and when I see that downward pointing black arrow, I can click. And it puts the entire column into our formula. Now, that's table formula nomenclature. Table name, and then in square brackets, it lists the field name, comma. Now, our criteria range, we need to look at dates. So I'm going to use my black downward pointing arrow, click. And there it is, table name, field name, and square brackets, comma. Now, that right there is the lower limit. And I need to say any date over here that's greater than or equal to. So double quotes greater than, first symbol, equal sign, second symbol, and double quotes. Those comparative operators in sum, ifs, and count ifs always have to be in double quotes. Then we use the ampersand, that's the join symbol, to join it to that end of the month. Now, notice we have a plus operation here and a join operation here. The order of how operations are calculated in Excel, all math operations happen before any join operation, so we don't need any special parentheses. That plus will calculate before the ampersand. Now, that's criteria 1, so I come to the end, comma. We need to list as criteria range 2 the date column a second time. So with my downward pointing arrow, I click. There it is, comma. And now I in double quotes less than or equal to n double quote and join it to the upper limit. And that will do it. Close parentheses, control enter, control one, currency, click OK. And now I can copy this down. Come to the last cell, F2. I'm looking to see if all my cell references are correct. Looking good. Now, add costs. Since we already have the end of the month, we just say, hey, look through this date column using that as the condition, and then add the appropriate cost. So I'm going to use equals sum ifs, the sum range. That's going to be add costs, comma, criteria range. That's going to be end of the month, comma. And then as a single end of the month date, that's the condition or criteria. Close parentheses, Control-Enter and copy it down. 
Now I'm going to come down to the bottom and use the keyboard Alt equals. That puts in the sum function, and I'm checking to see if it guessed correctly, and it did. Control Enter, and now copy to the side. And there we have revenue and cost for each month using sum ifs and end of the month, and just a straight sum ifs. All right, we'll see you next video.